lot of fun to watch. So tell me, how much fun was it to make? You go. It was a ball. We had It's a great group of people, and it's just a crazy, fun movie. And it's really physical and really funny. So we had a fantastic time making the movie. Yeah, it was like being, a, I don't know, in some like crazy fantasy summer camp because it's super physical. You're running around. The, everybody's having such a great time, but also we're seeing these insane monsters and this insane amount of blood and insane new creations every day in the makeup trailer and the prosthetics trailer and all the, you know, these special effects teams. Like every day it's just like, holy shit. You know, there's all these new creatures walking around set, moving around set, and we're deep in the woods in Vancouver, like dense. You know, we're, we're shooting all night. It's just like, it's really thrilling, you know? It was really like all the elements were there, I think. Um, and it was like fear and fun. I mean, it's why you go to the movies. The film is kind of split up into two different sections, or not sections, but two different sets. Mm. And you guys are very prominent in one of them. What was it like seeing everything edited together? I loved that because we weren't really involved, so it made it like a whole new experience. And then Richard and Bradley, they just rock. Yeah, they're that's perfect. so funny. They're perfect. And that's what made it really, yeah, it felt like something new. We're watching, we are watching a new, we were in the movie, but we're, to see that, you're really having a new experience and seeing how they're pairing off of what you're saying. Like, really, you know, you're seeing this kind of marriage work in a real way. And it's, uh, I, I mean, it's one of my favorite parts of the film, to be honest, is, is, is Richard and Bradley's uh, world and, it's, and the commentary that that may or may not be. And just the way that they juxtapose the two stories with the editing, I thought was so brilliant. It, you know, it makes it funnier in both scenes, just having the two side by side. So it was fantastic to see it all put together last night. All right, now you guys are sitting at home, you're reading the script, and you get to the ending, which is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thank and it was you. filmed brilliantly, and it was acted, it was put together, everything worked perfectly. What was your reaction whenever you originally saw how the story was all coming in to play? It felt to me just like, and I could tell pretty early on, but it really, it really encapsulated at the end. I could tell this is really, really ambitious. Like it's really going for, I mean, I'm still processing it at the end. Like, wait a second, let me flip back to page 60. Did I process that right on page 45? You know, it wasn't just, you expect these things to be kind of quick page turns, and I get it, I get the formula, I get it, and we read a lot of that as actors and as anybody in the business. But this, you could, with every page, with every new scene, you could realize that they're setting something up that's kind of much larger and larger, um, and just more fucking insane. And so much of the stuff at the beginning, you're like, oh, this is a movie I've seen before. This is a horror movie. I know exactly who these characters are, and I, I know what's gonna happen. And then the further you get into the script, the more it just twists and turns, and it just gets crazier and crazier, and by the end, you just you have no idea what to expect. And that's really fun when you're reading a script to be that involved in it and to be that shocked by it. Mm. So, which one of you three is the scare easiest to scare? Not me. I. What about I freaked out. We were in the cellar. We were filming, and then it wasn't even action yet. And I'm like screaming away, and everyone's like, "Anna, Anna, are you okay?" And there was a lighting guy behind, like, the thing. So I will, I'll take yeah. that one, guys. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Like, very, very yeah. The rest of us, I feel like, just laughed a lot. Like, it was supposed to be serious, and we'd be cracking up laughing. It's, like, we yeah. couldn't make eye contact with each other. Do you guys have a prankster on set? It's, it's, I would think it'd be a tie. Like, uh, I think it'd be me, uh, me and Chris, I think, <laughs> were probably and Fran, the worst. Fran, remember when he put that camera in the cellar? Oh, yeah, we'd and made we our own B-roll. <laughs> you guys might be in, touch, re in for a real treat with DVD and, <laughs> and like, and back to, we were crazy. We did a lot of, and we like yeah. acted out like small b side movies on the side, like on the yeah. lot. Yeah. Yeah, we had, we snuck a camera into a scene <laughs> and just videotaped it ourselves in the basement while we were shooting. And, and yeah. it just sat there the whole time. And it was also probably like 4 a.m. We were yeah. just, Insane. And Fran was off camera laughing, which was really helpful to those of us who were mm. actually being yeah. shot. So he's like, a physical laughing. Like he's like a shoulder shrug. Yeah. <laughs> you, you notice him. You notice him in your periphery.